So here we have our uh, Nexstar SE looking up here at the, uh, the mountains in beautiful Kananaskis country out to the west of Calgary. And uh, we can look at what's happening right up on the top of those mountain peaks as uh, we put in the 25 millimeter eyepiece into the uh, Celestron Nexstar 6 SE. Okay, as you're able to see now, we've attached a Canon single lens reflex camera. We've taken off the visual back, the diagonal and the eyepiece. And in its place, we've uh, put a T-ring on the Canon camera and then a Schmidt Cassegrain photo adapter. So this, in effect, uh, gives you a telephoto lens that's 1500 millimeters in length, which is... And here's the pictures through the next star 6SE of the mountain range in Kananaska country, just west of Calgary. With the scope set up in the evening and a beautiful full moon, we're going to take a picture of the moon on the Canon 60DA. It has the same size sensor as the other Canon. You'll be able to see the size of a photo of the moon. Pretty much fills up the entire frame of the camera. And so that's what you can expect to get with a normal Canon SLR camera picture of the moon. Okay, so uh, what we've got now is a Canon uh, 5D Mark II, and it's got the full frame sensor on it. And so you'll notice uh, immediately that the uh, entire moon is able to be captured because uh, it's getting a much wider field of view here. So we're going to try a couple of different shots on this one and just sort of show you what the full-size sensor will, uh, will appear. And here's the capture of the moon on the 5D Mark II, the larger sensor, and comparing again to the 60DA, the smaller sensor, what you can expect.